on terror, I think the world will have to unite much more strongly. Much more strongly, you can have differences, there can be territorial disputes, right. but you cannot have a situation where you say, I or somebody funded by me, mm -hmm. or somebody inspired by me, mm -hmm. can use terror to achieve, to uh, achieve objective. political objectives. Right. Now you can, if you have a military conflict, you are in military conflict, sure. it's a different thing. Mm. But you will be in trouble for two reasons that then you are unraveling the very foundations of civil of the civilized world. Absolutely. How civilized I, it is, <laughs> you and I can argue about. No. But this is happening all the more because the multilateral system which was established after 1945, mm. that is in disarray. So I was going to come to that because since you worked in the UN so extensively and at the highest levels, what is the UN's uh, role now? Can it uh, intervene effectively or it's now just a bystander? No, first of all, what is the UN? Yeah. Let's be, again, let's get our definition right. There are three UNs out there, as I know. <laughs> One is a UN which is um, a, a, a combination of the 193 member states. Right. Then there is a UN out there which is a secretariat funded yeah. by the member states but uh, sometimes does things on its own. Right. And the third UN out there is the... Um, civil society and NGOs, etc., which in many ways is a very powerful one. But collectively, the so-called UN is in disarray also. So, Why? Mm. UN had primarily, I mean, I put everything aside, two functions. One is peace and security, sure. and the other is uh, develop. develop. And you can say human rights and so right. on. On the peace and security part, you have a paralyzed security council. It's been paralyzed since the, uh, the time we were on the council, 2011 and 12. Correct. It has been paralyzed because permanent members of the Security Council, the five of them, are in disagreement. Correct. As they are on the uh, Middle East uh, uh, issues today. Yeah. As they were on the Russia-Ukraine thing. So what is happening? The one agency which is designated with the authority to make a determination mm -hmm. on whether there exists a threat to peace and security, the Security Council. Right. And if it makes the determination that there is a threat, it is the only agency which can authorize mm. the use of force or all means necessary. Sure. Now tell me, you see all these conflicts around the world, yeah. which of them went to the Security Council to seek um, uh, 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 approval? They don't bother. No, no. So if you can wage war without um, bothering about the Security Council, right. and the Security Council can't do anything about it, that speaks volumes about uh, what kind of effectiveness the multilateral um, uh, system post-45 anchored in the UN has. 